But there are nine elements of Shakespearean tragedy. Number one, the tragic hero. A tragic hero is one of the most significant elements of a Shakespearean tragedy. This type of tragedy is essentially a one-man show. The hero may be either male or female, though it is typically male, and he or she must suffer because of some flaw of character, because of inevitable fate or both. The hero must be the most tragic personality in the play, and usually the hero has to face death in the end. An important feature of the tragic hero is that he or she is a towering personality. Just like Macbeth, he hails from the elite stratum of society and holds a high position of nobility and prestige. Number two, good versus evil. Shakespearean tragedies explore the struggle between good and evil. The majority deal with the supremacy of evil and the suppression of good. Evil is presented in a way that suggests its existence is a necessary and ever enduring thing. Macbeth appears as good in the beginning of the play, but is driven to evil acts by his intense ambition. The Weird Sisters are presented as evil and supernatural in the opening scene. Malcolm and Macduff are built up as figures of goodness and provide a contrast to the evil of Macbeth. Hamartia is the Greek word for sin or error, which derives from the verb hamaitinin, meaning to err or to miss the mark. Hamartia refers to the hero's tragic flaw. It is an absolutely critical element of a Shakespearean tragedy. Macbeth's fatal flaw is his desire for power and unchecked ambition, and although he rises to power, it undoubtedly leads to his fall from grace and death. Number four, tragic waste. In Shakespearean tragedies, the hero usually dies along with his opponent. The death of a hero is not an ordinary death. It encompasses the loss of an exceptionally intellectual, honest, intelligent, noble and virtuous person. In a tragedy, when good is destroyed along with evil, the loss is known as a tragic waste. Macbeth certainly illustrates the tragic waste of nobility and goodness in a character, and the good aspects of Macbeth's character are killed by his evil acts and intentions. Number five, conflict. Conflict is another crucial element of a Shakespearean tragedy. So there are two types of conflicts, external conflict and internal conflict. External conflict plays a vital role as it causes internal conflict in the mind of the tragic hero. Every tragic hero in a Shakespearean play is confronted with external conflicts that must be addressed. In Macbeth, the external conflicts are the ones between Macbeth and the people he increasingly sees as obstacles to his ambition, including Banquo, Duncan, Malcolm and Macduff. Internal conflict refers to the confusion in the mind of the hero. Internal conflict is responsible for the hero's fall along with fate or destiny. The tragic hero always faces a critical dilemma. Often he cannot make a decision, which results in his ultimate failure. In Macbeth, we see a constant internal battle between his ambition and his conscience. Number six, catharsis. Catharsis refers to the cleansing of the audience's pent up emotions. When we watch a tragedy, we identify with the characters and take their losses personally. A Shakespearean tragedy gives us an opportunity to feel pity for a certain character and fear for another almost as if we were playing the roles ourselves. In Macbeth, the audience and readers usually pity the tragic central figure of the play because he was blinded by his destructive preoccupation with ambition. Number seven, supernatural elements. Supernatural elements play an important role in creating an atmosphere of awe, wonder, and sometimes fear. Supernatural elements are typically used to advance the story and drive the plot. In Macbeth, the witches play a significant role. Their prophecies, are responsible for motivating Macbeth to resort to murder in order to ascend the throne of Scotland. Number eight, ambiguity of poetic justice. Poetic justice means good is rewarded and evil is punished. There is no clear poetic justice in the tragedies of Shakespeare, rather they contain only partial justice. Shakespeare understood that poetic justice rarely occurs outside of fiction. Good deeds often go without reward and immoral people are often free to enjoy life to its fullest. However, in Macbeth, there is a suggestion of poetic justice. Because of their evil deeds, Lady Macbeth kills herself and Macbeth himself is killed at the hands of noble Macduff. This justice, however, is tempered by the pity we feel for the eponymous tragic hero. Number nine, comic relief. Comic relief is the final key element. Shakespeare didn't follow in the footsteps of his classical predecessors as Greek and Roman writers didn't use comic relief. But Shakespeare wanted to relieve the tension for the audience. In Macbeth, the comic relief is evidenced by the drunken port scene. So Macbeth has all nine elements of a traditional Shakespearean tragedy, even though it is confused by the protagonist turning evil. This complicated, tragic hero is the reason Macbeth is considered a masterpiece. <laughs>